Hello and welcome to another problem solving session. We're doing circuits when problems with equivalent resistance. So we're taking this network A to B, node A, node to B, and we are resolving this whole thing down to a single resistance between two points A and B, and we're going to end up calling that REQ. So th that's what this problem is about. It's about looking at it from a bigger perspective and seeing what is this all equal to. Your normal problems are going to have capacitance and inductance, but when you do academic problems like this, like a circuits one course, they're just going to be pure resistances. Uh, to prove the concepts of how you might do uh, series and parallel uh, transformations. So first one we're going to look at is these are these are in series, so we can add these together. We have a 10 ohm resistance and a 10 ohm resistance here, 10 ohms, 10 ohms, we're going to add these together, such that Ra is equal to, now sometimes it's helpful that this is R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, and R8. Sometimes it's easier um, it's easier to, to do your problems when you know the names of things. So Ra is equal to R2 plus R3 which is equal to 10 plus 10, which is equal to 20 ohms. Okay, so now we have um, two resistances that are in parallel now. One is 20 ohms, called Ra, and another is 20 ohms. 20 ohms, and that one is called R4. So Rb is equal to Ra in parallel with R4. And because these are the same value, it's going to end up being 20 divided by 2, which is equal to 10 ohms. Like that. Okay, now I have a single resistor that goes from here to here. So that, that whole upper branch is a resistor in series with another resistor, and that is Rb in series with R7. So Rc is equal to Rb plus R7 which is equal to 10 plus 20, equal to 30 ohms. Okay, now this whole upper branch is much more simple. So that's uh, this whole thing, all of this, right, is basically what that is now. Now we're just going to take a look at the lower branch, starting with the middle component. So we have two resistors in parallel, like that. R5 and R6, and they are 20 and 30. Okay, so such that Rd is equal to R5 in parallel with R6, which is equal to 20 in parallel with 30. Now, this is R5 multiplied by R6 divided by R5 plus R6. And that is 20 times 30 divided by 20 plus 30, which is equal to 2 times 3 times 10 times 10 divided by 50. So this is going to be 100. And 50 is going to go into 100 two times. So it's 2 times 2 times 3, which is 4 times 3, which is 12 ohms. So that's that portion now. So now you have series resistances, three series resistances. You have one here, you have your RD, and then you have one more resistance on the lower leg of all of this. <clears throat> this one, what do we name it? We named it R1 and R6. R1 and R6. 10 and 8 ohms. 10 ohms, 8 ohms. 12 ohms. We can add them all together. Our E is equal to R1 plus Rd plus R6. And that means that our E is going to equal to 10 plus 12 plus 8. Our E is going to equal to 30 ohms. Like that. Okay. Now, the, the final problem results to two resistances, of which one is Re down here, 
and the other one is our D. Uh, no, it is, let's see here, which one is it? I think it's RC, yes, that's right, RC. Because this was RA, RB, RC, RC, and RC was equal to 30 ohms. 30 ohms, and oh, look at that, RE is also 30 ohms. That makes our job very easy. So now, F, RF is equal to RC in parallel with RE, which means that this is going to be RC over 2, since they are the same value, which is equal to 30 divided by 2, which is equal to 15 ohms. And that is your final result. That's the equivalent resistance. So REQ is equal to RF, which is equal to 15 ohms. Kind of a long problem today, but this is how these invariably end up. Very long problems. All of this work down here was the lower branch. All of this work was the upper branch. And then from those two parallel combinations, uh, we can get 15 ohms. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.